How to Effectively Control Contamination in Pharmaceutical Industry Contamination control is taken extremely seriously by pharmaceutical businesses. It can adversely affect the quality and safety of medicinal products they produce. According to the CDC, adverse drug events cause around 1.3 million emergency department visits per year. About 350,000 of those patients need to be hospitalized. On average, FDA has issues 1,279 drug recalls every year. Many of those are due to contaminations. Regulatory agencies such as the U.S. Food and Drug Administration and the European Medicines Agency has published detailed guidance and training on contamination control due to its serious implication on product safety. There is a distinction between contamination and cross-contamination. Whichever way we try to express, contamination ultimately jeopardizes the safety and quality of pharmaceutical products. Contamination can result from the presence of any foreign substance in the product which is not intended to be there. Contamination in pharmaceutical products can occur from physical, chemical or microbiological sources. Physical contaminants such as hair, foreign objects, dirt, dust, pollens etc. can adversely affect product quality. Chemical sources such as residual cleaning agents, leaking lubricants, chemical intermediates and byproducts can make your product unsafe. Microbiological contaminants such as bacteria, molds, spores or yeasts can make your product impure and harmful for human consumption. Cross-contamination may occur by the transfer of substances, microorganisms or other unwanted material from one product to another, leading to contamination of the final product. For example, if a tablet feeder area is not cleaned regularly, fragments of tablets from earlier batches can accumulate under the tablet feeder tray. If the risk is not mitigated immediately, these rogue products can cause cross-contamination to future batches. Ineffective cleaning of production vessels, transfer lines, filling lines and other processing equipment can potentially cause cross-contamination from carryover of chemicals from batch to batch. Contamination can be introduced in pharmaceutical products through impurities in raw material, or by the people who are not following good hygiene practices, and also by the use of equipment between batches which are not properly cleaned. Manufacturing environment can also be a source of cross-contamination, as air, surfaces, and water can carry microorganisms and impurities. Good news is that, contamination can be controlled effectively. Pharmaceutical businesses can take pragmatic steps to control contamination in their facilities. Some commonly used control measures are displayed in the following parts of the video. Let's explore those. All personnel working in production areas, laboratories and storage areas must be provided training on contamination risks and prevention. Maintain premises carefully, ensuring that repair and maintenance operations do not present any risk for contaminations. Steps must be taken in order to prevent the entry of unauthorized people into production, storage and quality control areas. Employ thorough and rigorous cleaning of all equipment, utensils, transfer lines, extraction systems and vessels after use. Before commencing processing operation, take steps to ensure that the work area and equipment are clean and free of any starting materials, products, product residues or documents not required for the current operation. Before any packaging operation, take steps to ensure that the work area, packaging lines, printing machines, labels and other equipment are clean and free from any products, materials or documents not required for the current operation. Purchase of starting materials, packaging and labeling materials should only be made from approved suppliers which can ensure correct identity of the materials. When a container is opened for sampling it must be resealed to the same security as it was before sampling. Perform any rework operation with an approved protocol. Rework includes reprocessing, repackaging, relabeling to recover or change a product. Perform line clearance with a checklist immediately before an operation starts. Re-inspect all equipment before use and line clearances at all stages of manufacture. Uncontrolled printed materials can raise the risk of cross-contamination. Therefore, it is important to manage all printed materials for boxes, ampules, tubes and vials. Maintain proper sealing, separation and storage of raw materials. Take adequate care in management of the dispensary so as to exclude the opening of different lots of containers in close proximity. Implement good housekeeping practices. Perform regular quality control tests and QA release activities throughout the supply chain. If you have any questions or would like to learn more on contamination control, please visit our website www.gmpsop.com. Subscribe to gain access to hundreds of well-written GMP documents library. Use the link at the description to read the full article. Thanks for watching.